one morning I stopped to watch a colony of bees. A little intimidated by the frenzied motion and intense buzzing, I reminded myself that if I didn't poke my nose into their hive, I wouldn't get stung. If I choose to maintain a safe distance from a dangerous situation, I would be fine. To me, that is exactly the lesson that detachment teaches. The choice is mine. When I sense that a situation is dangerous to my physical, mental, or spiritual well-being, I can put extra distance between myself and the situation. Sometimes this means that I don't get too, too emotionally involved in a problem. Sometimes I may physically leave the room or end a conversation. And sometimes I try to put spiritual distance between myself and another person's alcoholism or behavior. Not just alcoholism. Anything. This doesn't mean I stop loving the person, only that I acknowledge the risks to my own well-being and make choices to take care of myself. Today's reminder... Now I know how to end an argument by simply refusing to participate, to return to my higher power for help with whatever I am powerless to change, to say no when I mean no, and to step back from insanity rather than diving into it. Detachment is a loving gift I continue to give myself and to others. If a man carries his own lantern, he need not fear darkness. Hasidic saying. So there you go. And these little Al-Anon books. Al-Anon is friends and family of alcoholics. These little Al-Anon books that have your daily thing are pretty cool. Regardless of whether you... uh, have an alcoholic family member. But I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And I hope you're doing well in this new year. I would like to congratulate you for having gotten through what I consider to be the worst week of the year, which is the first one. And the reason that it is is because energetically it crashes after New Year's. So you just went through Christmas where everyone was like, ah, 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 and then you went through New Year's where everyone was like, ah, and then everyone spent all their money and they've spent all their energy and they had all that family, blah, 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 and now they're going back into the world (laughs) to start a new year. With no energy left. So, I consider it to be, also, it's a dead, energetically, as far as the weather is concerned. It's a dead time of the year, the winter. And so, congratulations! You got through it. And, uh, And from here on out, it's, Whatever sailing, (laughs) it's uh, smooth, and then it's rocky, and then it's smooth, and so on. Be well. He says, Dad, it ain't that cold out there. You just need to grow some more hairs. You ain't hairy enough.